Hello and welcome to another... Oh no, this isn't Games Master, this is Games World commentary. This is another real crap show from the 90s we're going to take a look at. I have not actually seen this one, so it's going to be a treat for me. I'm Scott Bailey, and this is my co-host... Adolf Schwarzenegger! <laughs> and this is the Eliminator, which hopefully someone gets shot in the head for... Oh... Hang on, this isn't Dominic Diamond. It's Bob Mills. You might know him from Fighting Talk on Five Live. Have you ever listened to Five Live? Uh, nope. I thought not. But he's a pretty good presenter. He's quite quick, actually. He's a stand-up comedian by trade, so... He's not Dominic. Yeah, I suppose. There is that against him. But judging what we just watched, I'm not surprised. I could do with a break from Dominic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a Dave Perry doubleheader. You've just seen, or you have seen, the Dave Perry tantrum incident with Super Mario 64. And he's returning again for another show. Another game show. He's going to play off against these other games magazines dudes. They're all wearing primary colours. Red, yellow, green, turquoise, blue. Yeah, in the first series of Games World, they had colour-coded jerseys, but in the second series, they all had numbers on the front of the jerseys, which made them look absolutely stupid. Oh, there's haircut. Adam Peters. Not Andy Peters. Adam Peters. Is he going to win, do you think? No. And in the yellow corner, Dave Perry! Ah, uh, here he is. A young, youthful-looking Dave Perry is world champion at some hockey game and also Super Mario 64. And, uh, I'm an unstoppable games animal. And in the green corner, Max Bilby! Oh, here's Mr. Bland. Hey there. Fun fact about Dave, he went on to work, present, for QVC. QVC? Yes, the shopping channel. <laughs> and he said it was the biggest payday he ever had. Let me guess, he was flogging Diamond Inc. shite for like two, three years. Possibly, but... Until his drug habit got the better of him, I guess. <laughs> oh, he says it was to pay for his wedding, but we all know what it actually was for. Look at this plethora of haircuts we have here. Yeah, stop him from sucking dick for beer money. Yeah, that's what he did after he left Games Master. He was... <laughs> <laughs> Forced into destitution. Sucking dick for N64 games. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, suck dick for Mario fucking games. <laughs> They'd come up to him in the street and taunt him with the cartridge. Mario 64, get that away from me! <laughs> <laughs> Round one. Oh, good, they're going to pudge each other out now. Yeah, they're going to bring out a ring and they're going to have a wrestling commentator in. And they basically just knock seven stars out of control. Oh, they actually going to play games on this episode. Thank God. Not answered question. Yes, indeed. As always, the first force collect ten coins goes through if you fail to collect... This is Cash Dash, which was a game they had specially for Games World. You couldn't ever buy it. Right. I'm not surprised because it looks like shit. Well, I used to enjoy it. I used to tune in each week just to watch Cash Dash. I don't know why. Cat stash, more like crap dash. <laughs> Ooh, colour coded chairs as well. Although the guys in the background, they couldn't afford them. Now, you know that look like that look is set up for a fucking pukaki fucking video. Next thing you know, you're gonna pan over again, there's gonna be fucking spunk everywhere. No comment. Well, this is riveting. <laughs> well, don't worry, it gets more interesting later on. It's like Smash TV with all the fun bits cut out. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, no guns. Oh, I know what it reminds me of a little bit. The original Grand Theft Auto games. Hmm. We go around punching people. Could you punch people in that? I can't remember. Yeah. It does look a bit like that, yeah. But this was a long time before Grand Theft Auto. Ahead of their time. Yeah. I guess uh, the guys at DMA Design and Rockstar are thinking, oh yeah, we could turn this game into a multi-million selling franchise. Well, yeah, if you think about it, you're running around collecting money, aren't you? Mind you. Yeah, but you are shooting grannies in the face. Yeah, wow, well, there is that. Which is quite bad in this piece of shite. Well, unfortunately, there's no grannies in this game. And you don't shoot them in the face. And he rots away into a pile of bones. Oh, Dave Perry didn't win. Oh dear. He did. 
He got through to the next round. They knock one person out each round. And the last person standing. Oh dear, your haircut didn't win that one. Or did it? I don't know, don't care. Giving people who play games a bit of advice, do you? Some of the time, yeah. Uh-huh, right. Fuck it out. If you took all that hair, Jero, his hair, you could fucking kill us all with What you think is, ha-ha, what would he do? Aha, I don't give a fuck. He basically just takes the mick out of him like Dominic used to do on Games Master. Oh, this is so painful to watch, especially with that guy. You're like, oh, I'm a comedian, don't you know? Oh, I'm going to be smug and have a laugh. Yeah, it is a little bit like that. It's, in a way, kind of the opposite of what Dominic is. He's just like a smirmy commentator type person. Yeah, I like Dominic. Bring back Dobby. The one small advantage of you is that I do have the power to say, Adam, get off my stage! Get off my stage. <laughs> yeah, I'm a comedian. Bye bye. Show sucks. <laughs> Get straight into a cab and go back to your respective place of work. Yeah, go out and play some Mario 64. <laughs> There's no Mario 64 in this episode, unfortunately. Or fortunately for Mr. Perry. You know what? They could have spent a little bit more money and actually got a woman. <laughs> actually got a woman. Actually got a woman. That's a tranny. That's a tranny. No, I, you can just tell. Or it may be because of the 240p, I don't know. <laughs> oh, Asterix. Yay. Did you play this? Yeah. Was it any good? Uh, no. <laughs> I like the music. The Master System version was alright. So, who do you think is going to win this round? Uh, <laughs> you don't care, do you? I don't care. <laughs> Well, here's Mr. Perry to liven things up a bit, perhaps. Maybe. No. <laughs> I don't know. Perhaps he's going to be set up or something. Oh, yeah. He probably will be set up. He'll actually have to play a game. Another fun fact about Dave Perry. He actually once went to see an Oasis gig with Violet Berlin at Main Road in Manchester. Where the fuck are you getting these facts from? He's not Chuck Norris. Tinsonet. DavePerryFacts.com. <laughs> Take very facts. That'd be awesome. <laughs> you gotta make a website now called Take yes, Very Facts. I am doing that. I am doing that. Now. <laughs> and like only about ten people actually want to go and look at it. Like, oh, I know Dave Perry. Is he the one that made Earthworm Jim? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he was also asked to be a videator for. He's still wearing leather trousers. Don't you even take them fucking things off? That's his signature. Isn't it? God. Be your nose is fly, all you smell is fucking ball sweat. Oh, sorry, too much. You know what? <laughs> they made it into a ring, of course, but they could have done a little bit better with it. They could have put barbed wire around those fucking fence posts. <laughs> the whole of the game's world aesthetic was supposed to be like a carnival thing. And yeah, I see. Yeah, they had a different show each day of the week, so this was the playoff. And then the end of the week, they had Beat the Elite, where the winners from the week would come back and play off against the ultimate video games champions, like Rick Henderson. Oh, oh, video going off. Yeah, a little bit later on, I should apologise, the audio quality drops just a little bit, but that's what you get with VHS. Oh well, yeah, that's what you get with shitty out. And you've got to thank the person who originally uploaded this. Otherwise, this would have been lost forever. And Mr. Perry wouldn't have had any reference to this magical moment in his history. Magical moment in Dave Perry history. Are you fucking nuts? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if it's actually Dave Perry's personal record of this. <laughs> this is his own personal archive. <laughs> yeah. I can imagine that now. It's like the the final bit in fucking Raid of the Lost Ark, and they instead of boxes, it's just videotapes of Dave Perry in various TV appearances. Yeah. And in that box, they have the one where he rage quits from Games Master. Oh. Oh. Yeah. If you open that, you turn to stone. Not away. <laughs> Your face melts. <laughs> Games World broadcast for 26 weeks a year, five nights a week. So he's got every single episode in his own personal dungeon. Yeah, a lot of shit on shitio. Are you going to do a series, shit on shitio? 
Jim Douglas, another 12. Back you go. Dave Kelsall. I've got plenty more Dave Perry facts, by the way, but I'm going to leave them for a bit later. Go on, I need to cheer it up. Give me a Dave Perry fact. <laughs> this is a true fact. Dave Perry used to live in a converted single-decker bus with a guy from Manchester and a Rottweiler named Layla. And that is the fact to end all facts. Let me guess, was the uh, bus called Futurama? <laughs> what? It's just to me, is he just a stereotype of the 90s through and through? Yeah, I used to live in a bus. I used to get stoned <laughs> off my balls and listen to Oasis. <laughs> and play video games badly. Yeah, he's Mr. 90s, isn't he? He's, <laughs> I was just going to say he was Steve Benway before Steve Benway was doing stuff. <laughs> yeah, but at least Steve's fucking entertaining. Yeah, yeah. I can just imagine that, actually. Dave Perry coming on YouTube. Hi guys, I'm Dave Perry and this is my YouTube channel. Oh uh, 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 no, let's play of uh, Mario 64. Uh, and it's like five seconds long. <laughs> I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel these days, unfortunately, after my destitution and prostitution. <laughs> destitution and prostitution. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, only had a suck dick for fucking Super Mario Kart. But no, actually, he still gets recognised at least once a week, apparently, on the street. Yeah, when he's begging. <laughs> oh, yeah, big issue. <laughs> well, he's probably the one writing the game section, the big issue. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bit insensitive. Especially for the person who was actually living in the cardboard box that, that console did contain in. Oh, I'm getting slightly off, slightly off subject here, a little dark. <laughs> Come to think of it, I might have bought an issue of the big issue off Dave Perry. <laughs> well, with that do rag, I'm not surprised. I should say that outside of these shows, he doesn't wear the bandana. It was just a public image, you know, like a WWF wrestler. Yeah. He didn't walk around with the bandana on. Imagine if he did that. He'd get beaten up three times a day. Yeah, he would get slapped every time. What are you, some sort of fucking pirate? <laughs> a video game pirate. Oh, here comes the tranny. I hope you're not watching this, the person who's carrying the number. Oh shit, she's got a dick. She's got the card in the way, so it fucking hides it. Yeah, yeah. Lady boys of Bangkok. Ooh, yay. Adam's fucking... Oh god, are they actually going to play a game that's competitive, not just platformers? Well, I think they had to pick these because, obviously, they've got to be games that Dave Perry's good at, haven't they? Otherwise, nah, 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 not fair. I ain't played it, it's not in the country yet, it's against fucking NATO laws, nah. Can't get over the leather trousers. I wonder if they're actually the same pair of leather trousers that he wore in the infamous... Mario 64 episode of Games Master. Probably. They probably still got the fucking piss in them as well. Got bitten by the duck. Jump over that, come on. It's actually doing quite well here. Oh! I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I'd rather watch a live stream from MLG than watch this. <laughs> oh, God. I have no idea who that person is. I'd rather watch someone play fucking StarCraft for three hours. And you have, haven't you? Or have you? Well, no, I was about to say I'd rather watch StarCraft for three hours while punching myself in the face intermittently every 30 seconds. Yeah. I'm going to stop you there before it turns into a angry video game nerd-esque rant. <laughs> oh, it, notice that screen there. I think he was playing Asterisk. Ah, there was an editing error there. Yeah. The game starts. Now, I'm gonna shove that bell up his ass in a minute. Oh my god. Platform games, yay. So, would you be in favour of a game's master comeback? If they bring the diamond back, maybe. Yeah, 
He actually has been asked about this, Mr. Diamond, and said he would be up for it in theory. He's still working for radio, I believe, these days in Canada. Canada? Yes. I struggle to understand how those guys in, in North America I'm are going to... I'm amazed and they'll fucking understand him. That's right, yeah. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Sorry, Monkey Spaz. <laughs> if we ever do a parody of Games World, we should get Monkey Spaz to do Dominic, shouldn't we? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not because he's Scottish as well. <clears throat> yeah, he's got a similar sort of sense of humour, hasn't he? Yeah, but... Dominic doesn't burp as much as Monkey does. <laughs> yeah, and Monkey Spaz doesn't go looking up women's skirts. That's a reference to a previous commentary. I'm not plucking that up out of thin air. What the fuck? And he's lost. Haircut couldn't cut it. Serves him right for the haircut. So, who's left in? It's Dave and Jim. Ah, it's a playoff. Is it going to be Super Mario? Oh, uh, you can have Dave and Dave. You'll get confusing. In his lilac shirt. Here we go. We're going to do some more smug comedy for everybody. Ha, 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 ha. God, move on. I take it you never saw Games World as a kid then? Mercifully, no. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, I didn't have Sky TV back as a kid. It was one of those expenses that, right. you know, you had to be a rich prick to have it, basically. My parents weren't that rich, though. I guess I pestered them to get it. Either that or they wanted to watch dodgy films. So, let me guess now. You had to fill up, because when you was in childhood, you were starving because they were paying for the Sky TV. That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> and they came and installed a sky dish on the back of our house. And he still got fucking brain damage from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the fucking brain waves. Oh, dear. When I moved into this house, they had a sky dish on the front, and I promptly took it down. <laughs> you had visions of your childhood. <laughs> Having to put up watching this shite on Sky One. <laughs> yeah, I actually did quite enjoy Games World. Games Master I enjoyed more, but it's because Games World was on every night of the week. I think it was half past six on Sky One or six o'clock. There she is. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Sorry, I'm making sound effects for a dong between the legs. Sorry. Carry on. I really hope she's not watching this. Uh, what's the chances? Ah, uh, we're at a map. Oh, King of Monsters 2. Well, I think it's a Neo Geo version. Yeah, I think it is. No, all I can see is in Blocko Vision. I can't see shit. You should bump it up to 1080p like I'm watching it in. 1080p. Incidentally, guys, I'm going to upload all the episodes of Games World that I'm going to do these commentaries on so you can watch them clean without myself muttering over the top of them. Oh, are you in for a treat, viewers? <laughs> <laughs> right, it's the final playoff between Dave the Games Animal Perry Oh, they are playing Neo Geo versions. <laughs> yes, and some other bloke that nobody heard. You can tell it's Sky TV, they're actually playing a Neo Geo game. Not like fucking Games Master, Channel 4. Oh, we're playing a Neo Geo game, but on the Super Nintendo, ugh. Yeah, the production values of Sky 1, of course, it was Rupert Murdoch, wasn't it, were pretty high. The fact that they could afford a set. Rupert Murdoch knew about Neo Geo. Who knew? <laughs> he actually had the money to spend on it as well. Yeah, he still plays it in the evening for at least two hours. Oh, he... If I were Murdoch, I would too. <laughs> Slam! Ooh. Yeah, using the cheese moves now. I never really like King of Monsters. <laughs> oh, look at that. He's doing it again. Come on. As they would say in that old WCW wrestling game that I used to have. Wake up, brain! He's using that same move again! I don't know why I remembered that just now. Oh, Super Geon, that's it. Player one lost. Yay. 
Oh, Dave Perry is lost. Look at him. Look at him. He's like, oh, how dare you? Oh, you, you beat me. I'm Dave Perry. I'm a games animal. I'd be careful because there's more chance of Dave Perry watching this than that lady boy. Well, let's be honest with you. Hopefully he's pulled his fucking head out of his ass in the last 20 years. <laughs> He'll come round in his bandana and smack you one. Well, he's going to bandana whip me. Bang. Look at this. He's using the same move. Over. It is. It's just full-blown cheese. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, but in these days, YouTube Let's Plays had yet to be invented, so... They had no... Yeah, yeah, use those cheesy moves. Yeah, I won, look at me. Ha <laughs> ha, prick. It's supposedly a legend at fighting games. Really? Yeah, once, apparently. He demanded... Well, no, he didn't demand this, but... They asked him to come and do a Street Fighter 2 tournament, but he agreed to do it only if they gave £30,000 to charity. Really? I can't imagine him saying that. Yes. I can imagine him saying, oh, if you let me win, yeah. But not charity. He doesn't seem to be that sort of person. Well, it was his own end of the story, so he may have tweaked it to serve his own ends. Tweaked it? I think he full-blown bent it. Hey, oh, God. Look at him. Asshole. Well done. I think you're just doing this to make me just... Just to really make me care. Make Dave my number one enemy. <laughs> As a form of torture, you mean? Yeah. Looking at him there, he looks pretty much the same, the body language, as he did when he lost in the Blasted Games Master episode. Same as if he'd have won. Selling about 200,000. Oh, right. I did ask, of course, how many is it selling, didn't I? Not, oh, how good a magazine is it? Because that's all that matters in the circulation war, ladies and gentlemen. But he's done his magazine a power of good by performing so heroically today. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Douglas. <laughs> <sighs> I hate this guy. So you're not going to buy two tickets to his stand-up show, are you? No. Yes, well done, Dave. Yeah, clap, clap. Clap. You made up for the fact that you're a sore loser. Look at him, fucking smug prick. Oh, yeah, I use a cheesy move on a cheesy game for the Neo Geo. And I won. Yeah, watching this back, it wasn't anywhere near as good as I remember the show being. But I do have to admit, the Beat the Elite on Friday was a lot better. Where they had wrestling-style characters come in and you had to beat them. On the games, of course, not literally. No, don't put that jacket on. You may turn into one. I don't know if that actually happens, but whatever. Oh, look at that. That's a 90s puffer jacket if I've ever seen one. I wonder if Dave's still got that jacket. Probably. I'm going to email him. He probably uses it as his catch and rag. Oh, come on. <laughs> Do we have to end this video on such a low note? <laughs> Well, you know me, lowbrow. Uh, Fresh-faced, youthful Dave Perry there, long before the days of Games Master. God, I wonder if he had shrinking testicles or all those fucking leather trousers of use, but whatever. He's paying for that now in later life, isn't he? Yeah, now he's walking around like he shit himself. And ladies and gentlemen, that's Games World The Eliminator, the video games journalist special starring a good friend, Mr. David Perry of Games Master. And a very beautiful tranny. Good night. Good night, ladies and gentlemen.